Okay, in this video I will be making uh, ISO for Memtest 86 for Legacy Boot um, BIOSes. So you just go to Memtest 86 version 4.3.7. That's the old version and click on Create Image. Download it into your computer. And um, just um, make another folder and uh, dump all the content in. So I'm going to create a folder called memtest86 and I'm going to dump all the contents in that zip file to that folder. And I'm going to just um, run image USB. This will create a uh, this will create a the ISO image of Memtest 86 on my USB uh, flash drive. I didn't stick the USB drive in there, so I will do that right now. So you can't you can't just stick in a USB drive after you start the program. See now I put it in there. So I'm going to have to exit the program and start it, okay, start it again. And now it's going to see my USB drive. So that's the drive. That's the correct drive. So when you click on write to UFD, now it's going to delete everything in that drive. So make sure that's the drive you want to format and use as your um, flash drive. So that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna be um, booting from booting with a Memtest 86 Legacy or 4.36 um, USB uh, disk. So I'm gonna be booting from this thing. Just, all you have to do is just hook it into a USB port, which I'm gonna be doing. Put it in there and just restart my computer. Or you could boot your computer up. Whichever whichever you're doing, it doesn't matter. And then go into the BIOS and uh, set it so that you can boot from the USB drive. So in this computer I can go into my BIOS by pressing delete key but some computers is F2 but for this one it's delete it shows right here what you have to press to get into the BIOS so I'm gonna change the boot priority so it's already changed it's already uh, set so the first boot device will be the USB drive the second will be the CD-ROM and the next will be the hard drive already set sometimes it's not so then just exit and save the settings if you have not already done it now it's gonna boot into the USB drive so this is the older computer so I have to use uh, this is why I have to use the memtest 86 uh, the old version so it goes into the Memtes screen right here and as you can see this computer is a uh, AMD Phenom 2X for 945 this this is a pretty old computer I put this computer back I put this computer together back in 2009 late 2009 maybe around November or October I don't remember exactly it was so many years ago so it's testing out it's testing the RAM modules in my computer right now this could take anywhere from maybe 15 to 30 five minutes so it shows what kind of computer I have um, what kind of CPU I have the specs of my processor like the L1 cache L2 cache L3 cache 
cores and it found four cores for the CPU. That's correct. This CPU is a four core CPU. And um, there's a time that um, it's been on. It, so far, it has not found any errors. As you can see, no problems. And um, we have to wait until it passes all the tests right here and then it's going to show you what it found here and if it found any errors it'll show it and um, which modules are bad and stuff like that so yeah sometimes uh, if you try to install windows it doesn't uh, successfully do it because of the fact that um, a RAM module is bad, you know, that could prevent you from installing any operating system, uh, Windows, uh, any distros of Linux or whatever. So it would be good to check the memory to see if there's any problem with it. So I'm going to let this run and after it's finished, I'll show you what I got. Okay, the first test passed in about 42 minutes. Which is 43 minutes, but the camera was on for 40. It stopped at 42 minutes. It says pass complete, no errors. Press escape to exit. So there's no errors. So everything ran fine. This test resulted in no errors. So this, the RAM that I have in this computer is working so what you do is you press you take out the USB drive like that and then press escape and you should be able to boot back into your computer without a problem that's it so it, the test takes anywhere from I guess 35 minutes to 45 minutes and there's no problems with my uh, RAM, so which is good to know. Thanks for watching by Ace 1000 KS 1975. Signing out.